when you're in a relationship, you gotta put, put this shit on your shit. Or, your shit gonna be gone. Oh my god. Mm. I'm just about to make me a fried bologna sandwich. I already have some of this cabbage and rice. I'm about to put this rice in the bowl too. And get a bowl ready for um, baby when you get home. Bowl of rice. That's left over. I gotta wash dishes tomorrow, but that shit ain't happening today. It's already 11 o'clock. So I peeled off this much, probably just this much. So hopefully I eat the rest of it before it fucking keeps on to go bad. Did she go out at all today? Yes. Oh, so that's why she acting like that? She said, what? I'm gonna go put the damn bags down in the damn garage. You go out there, you come on. Yeah, like she ain't trying to go to the bathroom, but I know I'm gonna get the bathroom. I'm gonna put it down. I'm doing something. I'm gonna drop my slice of bread on the floor. I'm gonna be real mad. This fried bologna sandwich is so fucking good. And I got the fucking bologna that is garlic uh, flavor. And that shit slaps. So good for like snack and I put shredded cheddar cheese on my side fry baby fry it might be a lot cheaper all right why are you bring that in here right now taking it in the basement calm down that's your food Drink a little bit. So I got this tea off Amazon. I'm about to try it for the first time. That's the tea dish. I hope it tastes good. Who? Uh, I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, whatever. Blow What? Blow that's how people get beat up. Well, I'm doing it seem like the bag bust open and I got motherfucking the shit from the tea in my cup. You talking to yourself? I'm on the camera. Oh. Uh, why you don't yell at the camera to you? No, I'm yelling at you. You should yell at me. No, nah, I should definitely yell at you. You should keep talking like how you talking before you acknowledge me. Say, Leave me alone. That's what I'm saying. I don't like that that the shit came out in that fucking thing. Like, look, it's all out the bag floating on top of my cup. I'm gonna have to drain this uh, shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this in another cup. And I'm gonna pour it through this drainer thing. Mm, it's pretty good. When you're in a relationship, you gotta put, put this shit on your shit. Or, your shit gonna be gone. I clearly just put the wrong lid on this and it was too small so it just fell inside my teeth. That was dumb as fuck. You're gonna probably wanna watch something like Manifest or some shit. Manifest came out with another season. This season I'm trying to get into it but you know first season one through three or one through four or whatever. The first seasons they were a little better. Or maybe it's because I got lost because I ain't seen it in a minute. Alright, I'm gonna take y'all back. What's going on? Good morning. It is November the 17th. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday, but I'm not gonna be able to do anything for her birthday. Um, I just came over here to say that it is six weeks after my transplant, and I've been trying to find a job, a remote job, a work from home job, and I don't know. What's going on? It's getting kind of hard to do it. I got this red lipstick on from yesterday and it has stained my lips. And I tried to take it off and won't come off. But, um, yeah. 
So yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning, filling my applications. I did have an interview this morning, but I had canceled it because I just wasn't feeling up to it. And it's kind of far, and it's not a work from home job, so. Um, I'm gonna have to fix this shit though. But whatever, peace out. What's up y'all, I'm looking a mess. But I'm about to go to the gym a little bit. I'm about to hurry up and put on some gym workout clothes or whatever. But I just wanted to tell y'all this story about what happened to me yesterday. So yesterday, I was in the kitchen cleaning and stuff. And I felt something wet going on in between my legs. And I'm like, hmm, am I peeing on myself? So I go to the bathroom and I'm about to show you what the fuck fell out of my cat. So this fell out of my cat. This is one of my stunts that I'm supposed to be getting removed. I have two of them. Or stents, stunts, whatever. I have two of them and I'm supposed to be getting today is Thursday and I'm supposed to be getting them removed on Tuesday. So hopefully the other one comes out just like that so that I don't have to have a procedure to get the other one out. But that shit scared the fuck out of me. And then when I seen it and I just showed you what it looked like, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Did they leave something up in me during surgery or something? So I had to call my nurse from the transplant team and she told me what happened and she said that <clears throat> not to worry about it that sometimes it's normal when it's ready to you know come out so yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all but I'm gonna put my camera on the charger because it's about to die so I'll text y'all back what's up y'all I just got out the shower it's about to be 10 o'clock at night I had went to the gym with my homegirl and that's the first time I've been to the gym in about two months. And I did pretty good. I got on a treadmill. Did a couple of weight machines. But I didn't put any like weights on them really. I just did like the lowest weights. Um, because I don't even think I'm supposed to be working out like that. I think the most I was supposed to be doing is walking. But my motherfucking knee was hurting. So I didn't do too much walking on the other treadmill. But I washed my hair in the shower. And now I'm about to use, I always use Kintu products. And this is the Coconut Curling Cream. Or I use like the Leave-In Deep Conditioner. But I think this was cheaper than the Leave-In Conditioner. So I had bought this. I didn't had it for a minute. So it's going down. So usually I just part my hair in four sections. And um, each section I drench it with the cream. And then I, uh, then I braid it. And then I leave the braids in until they dry on their own. But I don't know how I'm going to do that because it's fall time, it's cold, and I don't want to wear hair. So I don't know. Or maybe I'll do that and just put like a bonnet or something on over it. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do while I uh watch Glamazante. And I might just fast forward this part. Unless I start talking about some shit. I put the heat on blasting so I could take a shower because it was cold as fuck outside bless me and I just turned it down a little bit because now I feel like underneath my skin is sweating okay like the sweat hasn't came out yet, but I'm hot as fuck. Honestly, um, about four years ago, I had dyed my hair. Um, I had lightened it twice with some blonde dye uh, because I didn't want to bleach it. And then I dyed my hair pink. 
I honestly want to do that again, but not do pink. I want to do this purple blue color, but I'm kind of scared. But I'm thinking I should do it because I just want to do something funky with my hair while it's curly. Y'all getting these curls, baby? These motherfucking curls popping. I don't know if they even popping like that because I think my hair a little damaged. I don't know why I can't be heat damaged because I ain't straightened my hair in a long time. But anyways. I'm just gonna chill and catch up on some of these vlogs that I missed. Because a lot of people posted some stuff today. And I need to go in the living room and go get my bonnet and put that on my head. So, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go. 